my dear students of class 9A and 9B, welcome to my class history. Today's lesson, the Khalji dynasty. The Khalji dynasty, the Delhi Sultanate, the Khalji dynasty. Who was the founder of the Khalji dynasty? Jalaluddin Khalji was the founder of the Khalji dynasty. How did Jalaluddin Khalji come to power? Jalaluddin Khalji was actually an Afghan, an Afghan noble. He was an Afghan noble. And uh, he had been working in the court of Yasuddin Balban. Yasuddin Balban, in spite of being Turkish family, Turkish group, he appointed a number of Afghan nobles in his court because some of the Turkish nobles betrayed him. That's why he lost faith on them. And instead of some Turkish nobles, he appointed some Afghan nobles in his administration. Jalaluddin Khalji was one of them. But at the end of the rule of Giyasuddin Balban, the irregularities of the administration of uh, Yasuddin Balban attracted him a lot and he started dreaming to be the ruler of the Delhi Sultanate. And finally, after the death of Yasuddin Balban, Jalaluddin Khilji declared himself the ruler of the Delhi Sultanate and established the Khilji dynasty established the Khalji dynasty. Now Jalaluddin Khalji, who was Jalaluddin Khalji and how did he start his career? Jalaluddin Khalji founded the Khalji dynasty and became its first ruler, means founder ruler at the time when he did it, he was about 60 years. So he ascended the throne of Delhi at the age of 60. But he was not an efficient, effective ruler. He uh, followed the system of uh, Yasuddin Balban's iron and uh, blood and iron policy and imposed many restrictions on the people. But at the same time, he gained popularity from the people. People, he obtained faith and respect from the common people. But his Lillian policy towards the criminals affected the safety of the citizens because some of the innocent people also were uh, arrested under suspension that he might, uh, uh, he might be a cause of plotting against Jalaluddin Khalji. That's why trade and commerce was not flourished during this age. And besides, he was unable to control the threatening, he was unable to control the possibility of possibilities of attack by the Mongols. So there was a possibility of attacking his uh, kingdom by the Mongols. So keep uh, keep uh, think it, keep it in a uh, keep it in mind. His nephew and son-in-law, Jalaluddin Khalji, murdered his old aged uncle, Jalaluddin. Alauddin Khilji, his son-in-law and nephew, murdered his old aged uncle Jalaluddin and ascended the throne of the Delhi Sultanate, my dear students. Alauddin Khilji murdered his old aged uncle Jalaluddin with a view to not only establish his control over Delhi but also to stop the possibility of invading India by the Mongols. Because Mon Mongols had been threatening Jalaluddin from time to time that they would invade India. So they would, so Jalaluddin would have to make a shelter for the Mongols. But in the interest of the Mongol, in the interest of the country, country's people, Jalal Alauddin decided to murder his uncle, according to some historians. 
but according to some British historians, Alauddin murdered his old age and uncle because of his growing popularity. Although Jalaluddin was or although Jalaluddin was sixty years old, yet he was physically very strong and stout, and he could uh, continue. He could continue his rule till eighty years. More twenty twenty years, more than twenty years, he could continue his rule. But Alauddin wanted to be the ruler of the Delhi Sultanate immediately. That's why he had been eagerly waiting for uh, uh, an opportunity to avail. Ultimately, he availed himself of the opportunity. How? By murdering his old Ajay uncle Jalaluddin. So. Ultimately, he came to power. But after having murdered his old age and uncle Jalaluddin, Alauddin made it sure that the people who would who would go against him and who would make plotting against him, who would uh, consider as his enemies, he would kill them like that way, as he followed in the case of his. Uh, old age uncle's murder. So, my dear students, besides this, on being the ruler of the Delhi Sultanate, Alauddin Khilji, uh, he introduced certain reforms for the growth and development of his kingdom. Number one, he confiscated the properties of the nobles in order to crush the growing popularity of the nobles in order to influence over the nobles, Jalaluddin, uh, Alauddin Khilji confiscated the properties of the nobles. Second one, uh, taking alcohols and drugs, taking alcohol and drugs was declared illegal, it was forbidden. And apart from this, assembling in a party or marriage festivals, also restrictions was imposed on it on uh, on uh, making assembly in uh, in any marriage festival or in any uh, or in any meeting it was uh, declared by Jal Alauddin Khilji besides Alauddin also introduced a good network of spice system in order to uh, collect uh, correct information from different sources uh, in order to learn the present condition present situation and political situation of the country Alauddin strengthened the spice system and apart from this uh, Alauddin also <coughs> you know consolidated his power not only by murdering his uncle but he also exerted complete control over the nobles through an effective spice system his policy of uh, his policy of uh, uh, trade and commerce, his policy of agricultural development brought him, uh, brought, uh, made him a very popular one because what popularity once his uh, old age and uncle Jalaluddin gained from the people, Alauddin decided to gain faith of the people by introducing good policies for the all round development of his kingdom and ultimately he was able to achieve success. Alauddin Khilji strengthened his army. The number of the number of soldiers appointed in his army, they all were a well efficient army. He himself looked after them, their ability, their skills. Besides, Alauddin Khilji also introduced the system of uh, Brand and Berga, the system of uh, Chihira and Dag. The system of Chehra and Dag. What is the system of Chehra and Dag? The Chehra and Dag means the soldiers who were very much skillful, brave, courageous, good strategists, and very much fond of fighting and uh, struggling. He always uh, uh, met, he always symbolized them, he always made a symbol over their body. That's why. Uh, he made a different type of chehra of the soldier so that any at any time he could uh, recognize them that that one a very skillful soldier and uh, another one dag what is the dag system 
he introduced the system of branded horses or dog. That means a, a, a well-trained soldier, whether he was sitting on the back of a, of a well-trained horse, he wanted to make it sure that whether both of the two, man and animal, man and animal were uh, well-trained before going to uh, face the enemies in war. That's why he introduced the system of dog, the system of branded horse. But ultimately, the amount of salary, whatever he paid to the soldiers was very less. But still there was no system. They could have, they, they could not open their mouth. But the time when Alauddin realized it, his mistake, the situation was beyond control. Some of them, they all started rebellion against his uh, finance, uh, against, against his uh, wrong, uh, wrong policy, wrong financial policy, wrong economy, wrong economic policy. That's why he became unpopular with the citizens because of his rigid control over the market and profits. And one of the most notable features of Alauddin reign was his market policy. Alauddin introduced a system. Uh, of a uh, fixing rate in the market. Each and every trader, each and every businessman in the market was supposed to uh, maintain a fixed price for the customers and uh, no one had any right, no one had any scope to cheat the customers in the market. In order to uh, check the dishonesty in the market, allow them to introduce the policy of uh, a fixed uh, price in the market and uh, apart from this uh, he uh, set fixed uh, prices for essential commodities just like grain, cloth, sugar, bread, horses, cattle etc etc and uh, the traders had to register their names in the market market superintendent and Sahanai Mandi market what is what was the name of the market superintendent Sanai Mardi Sanai Mardi was the market superintendent where the traders would have to register their name before selling the number of essential commodities just like horse bread uh, sugar and uh, cattle etc etc but at fixed rate there was no uh, scope for bargaining there was no scope for cheating any customer and whoever was there and whenever uh, any trader would try uh, to uh, malpractice and was caught red-handed, there was a severe punishment for them, for, for the trader and for them. And that's why Alauddin Khilji's the policy, market policy also gave him uh, uh, popularity in the market, popularity in the country. He prescribed many strict punishments for those who cheated the customers in weight and maize, weight and price. That's why uh, he also gained popularity because of the common people. They extended their cooperation towards whom? Towards Alauddin Khilji. Alauddin Khilji also uh, became very much unpopular at the time when he withdrew the system of Zagirdari. The system of Zagirdari, which was first introduced by Emperor Akbar, he gave them lands and uh, Zagis. But the time when there was no land, the system of Zagirdari, the process also, also had been uh, withdrawing by different rulers from time to time. And later on, whenever it was, whenever it was being withdrawing, allowed the Khilji gave him a permanent sap, he would do that system of uh, uh, system of Zagirdari and um, which made him very unpopular, which, which made that system made him very unpopular. He conquered Gujarat, Malwa, uh, you know, Chito, Ranathambar and extended his empire and made a very strong empire, but he could extend more and more. He could extend his empire more and more, but Alauddin Khilji believed that a strong empire could be possible only when the king or kings or emperor's control would be there. In order to establish his control strongly over the areas he uh, extended, over the areas he, uh, he established his influence, 
that that much should be better for him that's why he did not extended more and more empire, uh, extended his empire more and more for the cause of controlling the entire parts of his uh, uh, entire parts of his country his influence, for controlling his influence over the people of the entire parts he occupied that's why alauddin khilji did not extend his empire in various parts of india but his one uh, one his uh, you know military general was there commander general was there that general was malik kafur malik kafur encouraged him to uh, extend his uh, control over south india so he gave the responsibility to malik kafur and malik kafur shouldered his responsibility and successfully resisted the mongol attacks Sultan of Delhi under Alauddin Khilji was the larger and strongest empire at the time but since the empire was held together with fear and ruthlessness why because it completely collapsed soon after his death but the thing which was I, which I was discussing about Malik Kafur Malik Kafur extended Alauddin's rule towards uh, South India but under the special direction of alauddin khilji malik kafur did not include the only the rulers they obtained the rulers they recognized alauddin to be their ruler so this political supremacy of alauddin attracted the rulers of uh, south they all uh, accepted alauddin to be their ruler that's why alauddin did not include south india in his region only because of that reason alauddin felt that controlling uh, an empire by one king would be possible only when the control would be under his hand that's why he did not like to extend his empire more and more so by this way alauddin established a strong empire but the system the the, the restriction he imposed and the policies he adopted uh, made all the nobles his enemies that's why after the death of alauddin alauddin uh, uh, there, there was none to look after but it collapsed soon after his death and uh, plotting and murder uh, reversed it, leaving the empire in chaos there was none to do it afterwards a new dynasty also was established the khalji dynasty the fame and glory of the khalji dynasty which was started with the hands of jalaluddin and alauddin came to an end with the death of alauddin khilji and next another one dynasty also was established the delhi sultanate that was tughlaq dynasty next day i shall discuss about the tughlaq dynasty thank you my dear students